What's going on guys? This is Lucian Lu from Easy Piano Hacks. Today we're going to look at Minuet in F Major by Leopold Mozart. Right here at the top you will see Andantino, 116 to 132. That's the goal. So I'm going to play one that's slow at a practice speed that we're going to play together. I'm going to turn on the metronome and we're going to count together and play. Okay? So we're going to take it from the top right here. So first let's set our metronome to 84. Let's set it to 84. Nice. I'm going to go let it click two, three, one. That's the speed that we're going to play it at. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two. Repeat. I'm going to point out a few things um, from the top here if we look we're going to go look at this first line okay first line when we look at this we want to look at the B flats that we have to get the key signature B flat B flat treble clef bass clef both you have to see every single B that you see in here you have to have let's play it flat so B flat B flat B flat B flat you can see on the screen right now you have a lot of B flats that I'm playing Right? All these B's need to be B flats unless they're marked otherwise. I don't see anything else marked otherwise. There's no natural signs. So that means you're going to play them B flat. Okay? So when you go from the top, the first thing I want to notice is 3 4 time. 3 4 time, whenever we look at time signatures, I want to see three beats in a bar. The top one means how many beats are there in a bar? We see three beats in a bar. Okay? The bottom one, that tells us which note gets the beat, which note equals to one beat. The quarter note, in this case, the quarter note, the four, one over four is a quarter, quarter note gets the beat, okay? So each one of these quarter notes, quarter note, quarter note, half note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, eighth note, okay? Quarter note gets one beat, so we count one plus one plus one equals three. So three beats in one bar, two beats, half beats, two half beats, one beat, two plus one, that's three beats, okay? So you can count one, two, three, one, two, three three okay and that'll make sense so taking it from the top this first line here that's out the way we're going to look at this right here starting on your fifth finger on your fifth finger right hand only right second finger every single every single finger gets a key right i put my hands there why because i know that coming up i'm gonna have to play a c f d and i'm gonna be ready to play all these notes so if you have your fingers, your hands ready to play everything in in sight, you know, everything coming up, you will be ready to play those. You won't be scrambling around. Okay, so you're going to take it from F right here. We're going to watch the phrasing. So uh, when we come in, one, two, three, one, two. This phrasing right here, 
you gotta respect that. That's legato, and then when you jump up on off of that, that's a staccato. So legato playing smooth, and then the staccato being detached. Okay, so you're gonna have to go legato two, three, one, two, three, and one, two. So we've made some changes here to the edit, to the um to the phrasing because. Uh, it, it'll sound better in, <laughs> for one and uh, in, in other editions it's it's written like this so we're gonna follow this instead okay this right here okay also carries for this guy so this isn't really marked I should mark this okay so we've marked that guy in you're gonna have to follow that exact same thing okay this right here to the thing right there all right so, now that we got that out the way, we're going to take it from the top, and we're going to play it hand separately here. One, two, three, one, two, rest. Da, da, da. Not a rest, but it's a break. So this check mark is a break, meaning you do not connect these together. So it goes one, two, lift, A, C, one, okay? But you lift without adding a hesitation in the, in the rhythm. So you're going to have to go from here, here we go. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two lift. Be there one and two and three and one and two lift. Da, 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 and two and three and one and two and three. And. So these you gotta lift. These you gotta lift. These you gotta lift. There is no phrase that connects these. It's not legato, okay? So this would be lift detached when you get to here these are also detached so you see that this was the this was legato this was smooth a c b a c b right but when you get to here detached 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 that means you're gonna have to play b a g f two three okay so that's the right hand from here to here we're gonna go look at the right hand from in the b section Right here, it says, it says the B section, G, G, E, F, it goes up a G, so G, lift, so there's no legato, the legato kicks in here, so lifting here, G, so you notice something here, this is exactly the same as this guy, okay, so that means that we're going to have to play just learn how to play this once and then you'll have this one too so noticing patterns like these like in the both the left hand and the right hand both left hand and the right hand they're the same and then the melody comes back here so let's continue this one just goes lift one and two and three and one and two and three and one lift two and two and three and so when you come down here legato when so this is what we got to pay attention to in this section even. I want to hear even eighth notes. That means it goes one, two, one, two. I, want to, I want to hear this. Okay, I want you to play it firmly. The reason why we play these unevenly sometimes is when we haven't developed strong enough fingers. So let's develop some strong fingers and we're going to go hard, firm. Be able to do that one lift two and three and one and two and three and okay and if you do that over and over just like that okay do that if you need to repeat it ten times repeat it ten times okay over and over play the game consecutive so you're gonna play this if you play If you play that once correctly, see if you can do it two times correctly, three times correctly in a row. If you screw up on the second one, then you start from zero. Do it, play it, repeat it until you can play three times in a row consecutively. All right, and that's a good measure of standard of quality. So make sure you can do that at minimum. All right, next coming up, let's go F, C, C, C. So let's connect it from here. Here we go. And 
two and three and okay that's the end of the uh, right hand separate so we're gonna look at the left hand separate now so left hand separate you're gonna put your F and A here so you're gonna put second finger on A fourth finger on F okay also watching for these B flats okay follow the fingering here we go it goes one two three one two three and one two three one two and three and one two and three and one and two and three and one and two detached and one and two and three okay so that's section a of this this piece and left hand separately okay section b right here we go into c so we have the third finger on c what I want to make, make sure that you do is this, that you don't have a break here, okay? Just because we finish one and two and three and doesn't mean that you take your time and then take a vacation and then come back and find this and continue, okay? We're going to have to go one and right away and three and one and two and three and one and two, okay? So what I want to point out is this: these guys in the left hand, this rest, when we get to here, make sure that you lift your hand. When I play this, it goes one and two and three and lift and two and three and one and two and three and lift and and three and one and two. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Rests, you have to make sure you respect them. Make sure that you do lift on the rests. Okay, and then when you get to here, you're gonna have to make sure that you switch. You have enough time to switch to the F and A just like what we did up here, just like what we did up here. So a lot of the same stuff, it's not, it doesn't change that much. So it goes from one and two and three and lift and two and three and one and two and three and lift and two and three and one, two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and, and, two and, three and okay? Once you are able to do this, hands separately, I want you to try hands together. So we're gonna go hands together on this now. So from the top here, we're gonna go one and two and three and one and two. Still might be a little fast, we're gonna take it slow. One and two and three and 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 okay so looking at this right here this c and a when i got to here making sure that you hold this all the way one and two and three and one you only lift this until you get to b flat okay so one and two and three and see how my F and A, my left hand is still down there. I lift the second finger to move it to the B flat here, but I keep the fourth finger on F. Okay, so I go one, three, one and two and lift, right? See how this left? And one. And that's how we do it. One and two and, right? One and lift and three and one, two, three, one and two and three and okay, so that's how we do it. Uh, let's go to section B. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. When it goes from this part to this part, I'm just gonna play the last bit of this so that you understand that we don't have a hesitation. One and two and three, go. One and two and three. Just before we get there, I want to point out these rests. Remember, we talk about these rests. Make sure to lift, okay? So they're going to go one and two and three and lift. See how my left hand lifted all the way to show you, okay? One and two and lift. Three and one and three and one and two and three and lift and three and four and one and two and three. So 
this is something you practice over and over this is something you do over and over then together you practice those over and over okay and then when you get back to here making sure you connect okay these are gotta connect right away to the next bit when you get to here uh make sure you respect this just like before one and two and hold the left hand see hold my left hand still there one and two and three and one two okay and two and detached one how you do it that's minuet in f major okay uh, so feel free to ask leave any questions in the comments below and then i will get back to you this is a, a pretty fun piece to, to, to start with and uh, if you are able to master this you will have a good understanding of staccato good understanding of legato you will have a good understanding of when to play when not to play and a lot of the basics in articulation Okay, what we're working on is called articulation. When to play, when not to play, when to use smooth, when to use detached. Staccatos, legatos is smooth, staccatos is detached. Okay, so lots to work on here. Have fun, let me know how it goes. And in the next video, we're going to work on Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Preparatory intro B. Okay, see you there.